So it was a Thursday night. I remember a football coach telling us when we're done packing up to meet us in the school. And they, uh, they ordered a bunch of food for us. Coach Bell and Coach Lees, they rolled a TV in front and said to shut up and listen. And I remember it being a, a Kenny Chesney video, about a 10 minute short film for Boys of Fall. And in that moment with a bunch of guys playing football together, knowing that the next night was a championship game against a team that was so much better than us, that was bigger than us, I felt like we were, we were in a way transitioned from teammates and players into family. And I really credit that to our head coaches and that Kenny Chesney Boys of Fall music video. And I think back now to where this song Raised on Kenny originated to, and I, I believe it was really started in that night. We grew up with Kenny Chesney, eight or nine years old, going down to Cayman Islands, going up to New Hampshire. But I think the night that really solidified the, the listener relationship that I had with Kenny was, was that night. For, for every project that we put out, I want to make sure there's a powerful why behind it. And it just needs to provide fuel to, to finish the entire project. And just the song itself is a marathon. To complete a, a song in and out of the studio for six months, it's, it's a lot of work. And it needs to, to, to have a lot of talent and a lot of good people on it. And this song has just that. And I think the why behind Raised on Kenny is to pay it back. To pay it back to somebody who's, who's really dedicated a life to spreading love, to sharing stories that unite people, bring people together. And that's what attracted me to the music world. We're at a time right now that's very divisive. It seems to be very polar opposite no matter which way you look. And I feel like music is one of the few things that is a force to unite. That's why I want to be in music. That's why I want to keep chasing what I love because what I love is bringing people together. And a lot of the inspiration behind that is from Kenny Chesney. And what he's done with music is constantly just push out love. Push out the ability to inspire people to love again. And I think that's magical. When you can create something that's a three or four minute story, put to a few chords, and somebody with a completely different set of beliefs than you also loves that same song. And I just, I think that's the main why behind this song is paying it back to Kenny himself because of the impact he's made on me, but the impact he's also made on so many other people. Uh, bringing so many people together, sharing the love, sharing experiences, and, and healing a lot of hearts. So we started writing this in January of 2020, and it was, um, I would say, a very spiritual experience to write this song. Because I feel like, and a lot of our songs, I feel like those words come from somewhere else. I don't feel like they're mine a lot of times. I feel like they're they're coming to me from a, a place that is undefined. And I feel like that's the, the beauty of music, is it's an invisible art. And it comes from a place that isn't really something we can harness or grab onto. So this song is about a three month period of putting it together lyrically, and then another three months of, of work in the studio, of piecing it together and making it into something that we really, really love. But it started on the beaches in St. John. Olivia and I moved down and uh, wanted to reset our creativity, wanted to kind of get a little get a little bit of space from all the noise in the world. There wasn't a moment where we decided to sit down and write it. It was kind of over a long period of time of letting it mature and progress naturally. And uh, one night really sticks out. It was the final part of the song. And we were on Trunk Bay, in Trunk Bay on, on the beach there. And we just decided to not leave until we finished because we were at that point where it was getting late. It was like eight o'clock, 7.30, eight o'clock. Song was going down, bugs were coming out. And we we're like, you know what? It's hitting us right now. We gotta keep it. We gotta keep it going. And so we did. And when it finished, man, the feeling—it was such a high. It was such an amazing, amazing rush to be able to finish something that you're so proud of. And I just felt like in that moment that this was not only going to be a special song just for me and my family. It felt like a lot of people were going to resonate with this thing. And I just, I just wasn't wasn't proud of anything like this. And. Uh, when, we, when we, we jump to that final part where it's looking back at where I come from, an island boy with a song on the tip of his tongue, I just feel like it so perfectly details and describes the song in just a couple of lines. That final verse is, is uh, really my favorite piece of the song. And uh, it really all took place at Trunk Bay and around 10 o'clock or so by the time we were finished. So I had a few really good friends work with me on this project and uh, Dave Rico and Christian Castro are producers in New Jersey. These guys somehow read what I put down and went above and beyond 
and brought it to a new height, to a level that I never imagined it even being close to. So Chris and Dave, guys, I love you. Thank you so much for all your time, your work that you put into this. Uh, another good buddy of mine, Luke Dennison, who's a vocalist, an artist himself, a songwriter, incredible talent. Just a kick-ass job of adding color and highs and low vocals in the background and, and just making it so much more dimensional. Uh, so Luke, man, thank you so much. And, and uh, my, uh, my lady Olivia was also a writer on this and it just a few good people can do so much with a song. And, um, you know, it's my name on the iTunes and the Spotify, but there's, uh, it goes much deeper than that. So I'm grateful for the, for the creators that are around me for sure. Raised on Kenny is now streaming on Apple Music, Spotify, and pretty much everywhere music is streamed. I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, thank you for being the best part of the music. I love you. Ever. Tennessee.